Hi friends and welcome. I'm going to do a painting tonight on an 8x10 canvas. This is a uh, stretch canvas but it's smaller. This was donated to me. I'm, I'm doing a, I'm giving this painting away, I guess. <laughs> They're having a thing where I live here called Picture Mason and uh, they've been trying to improve the downtown, the old historic part of town and bring more people. We have a lot of restaurants so we actually, there's a lot of cars through and a lot of foot traffic, um, but it's nice, they're trying to improve it. So anyway, they have, they've put this thing together where they're giving all these 8x10 canvases away and they want us to paint, um, I guess our favorite business or favorite building in Mason. Um, you know, there's a lot of businesses I like. There's a lot of old buildings that I love. Um, I thought about it a lot. As you know, I paint it all over town. I'm just kind of reading it over here. Um, so the business itself that I'm going to paint is called Native to Nature. And I've been in there a few times. I'm. It's, for me, it's about the building, not the business. It's a business that um, sells vitamins and oils and handmade soaps and cute little place. But I, again, for me, it's about the building. So because I'm doing oil, I wanted to get going on it because it has to be turned in no later than October 6th. Then they'll display them in some of the businesses down in the, they call it the Mason Mile and uh, they'll have one night where they'll all be on display and then we can pick them up. You had to agree to the fact that they may want to keep it. Um, the city has the right to keep the certain artworks if they want um, to use them in the future, I guess. So, and there's no guarantee, you know, it won't be damaged or so I expect this will be a lot of children's artwork, which is fun and, and that brings the parents out. As a professional artist, I'm, the reason I'm doing it is because this is my town and I live here, they've been good to me, so I'm giving back to them. Um, you know, could I sell it? We'll not be selling them. Someone might contact me later to buy it, but I'm not doing it for that reason. So again, it's an eight by 10. I'll show you what I'm doing. This is a photo. I, I couldn't, you know, if I was painting this for a commission, I of course would be working for my own photos. I don't really care. This is one I took off Google Earth and I cropped in on it. See, it's just a cute old historic building. And then there's another picture from their Facebook page that has wonderful light and shadows. So I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to use the information from this see the shadow on the pot, the shadow in the eave, boy it's got a really bright sky. So I'm going to use that light and shadow pattern on the front of it. So I could have done a lot of things, I could have went and painted on location, but not, not anytime soon. It is holler, hotter than 80s, isn't that the same? It's like 93 degrees. So. I was using my tube roller, squeezing out some little tubes. I love this thing. I've showed you this before. It is great. I'll show you what it does to a tube. It just completely flattens it. It's a cool thing. If you don't have one, you ought to buy one. All right. So let's get it sketched on. I did, as you can see, I did an orange acrylic wash on there. You know, I did consider painting this one in acrylics too. I occasionally do um, because I, you know, I want it to be really dry so they don't damage it. Who knows what they'll be doing. They may be stacking them up and, but again, it's early. It's what August, uh, I don't know what the date is. August 23rd has to be turned in by October 6th. So I'll get it done. It'll have a lot of drying time. So, and I, I ran some of this over on the edges too. I'm looking to see. I pretty much 
filled the canvas with the image because why not, right? You can see some of the red brick building next door, which we may um, put in, right? I'm holding the brush against my image like that to get the angle on the roof. So it's about it's pretty steep, about like that. And it should, you know, this image, this angle should mimic this angle. You know, and you can go beyond even if you need to to get that. You know, and it would end, they will end at the same place, so. Now I'm looking at that, it's not quite symmetrical. I like old buildings and white buildings with sunlight on them. And uh, so, again, I had to think about it. You know, I painted a lot of those buildings on the main drag and a lot of them are wonderful. That still doesn't feel right. Let's do this again. The width, however, does feel about right. So if this is the center, that's where our peak should be. Right about there. So. And this goes out to there. All right. Got a little vent thing up here, which we may or may not include. So I'm just kind of constructing the building. painted this building before um, along with the next two buildings down sold it to the shop next door so the lady that's doing this project talked to me about you know ideas on how to do it and that side does not go back very far at all only to about there and the angle on that roof is pretty steep. That's about all you see of that side. If the weather had been really pretty, like I said, I probably would have painted it on location. This just ever so slightly goes down. Again, I'm sure this will be, like I say, a lot of children's art. I've done events where we have children's exhibits and uh, they're always well attended by the parents, which is wonderful. square window above the door. The little door comes down to about there. I think this building was a, a grocery store, I think back in the day. I painted a building the other day, a big Victorian house, and it was a good challenge getting all the angles and windows and and it uh, actually was a funeral home back in the day. It's kind of interesting. And I met a young girl that lived there and she came out and talked to me. Um, real sweet, but she's cute. She uh, 
I think it kind of creeps her out that the building across the street was a funeral home. And again, if I'd been on location, I might not be painting this pretty much dead on like I am. And over in this part of it, there's not a lot going on. There's uh, right next to the windows, the house numbers. Then there's a couple of like wall planters and a square sign. Just using whatever I got. The wall planters um, had kind of a cool shadow under them. We may try to get that. And this just pretty much goes straight across. It looks like there's a chimney back here, which it seems a little odd, I know. On the corner, it's like sticking out and up. We'll see if, if it feels like we want to include it. And then there's a little porch that comes out that I think goes all the way across and then it's got a little lip on it which like some there's like some multicolored stripes going down it and then probably should include the building next door because it's there we can see a bit of it a couple windows that and I can see a bit of a chimney on that all right we got a pine tree painted out of a place yesterday that uh, used to be a private farm and the people now gave it to someone that's which is wonderful they're going to preserve it so um, people are still alive but living in like assisted living and they didn't have any children so they donated the home to again this place that preserves our properties I can't remember the name of it but I think that's great um, so we got to paint there there's a it's in an area where you wouldn't expect I mean it's a bunch of homes on small acres and here's this you know probably 30 acre place with barns. The one barn's like 200 years old, the guy was telling me. And let's see, and up by the porch, this grass area comes across, and then just park a lot, which we'll have to decide. Might be cute to, you know, do uh, spaces like that. I don't want to fight this paint too much because the building's white. So I've been always busy between paint and out, and <clears throat> I ordered a bunch of little 4x4 four four canvases. I've got a show coming in. November 1 and December, so I'm starting to think about that. All right, let's mix a couple. Let's mix up. Let's see if I, maybe I'll try to bring you over. So you can see what I'm doing. How's that work? Making you dizzy? All right, so what I'm going to do is I want some um, white and light for the sunlit part of the building. So we'll just get some white out. And I'm going to put a little yellow in it. I don't want the building to feel yellow, so I don't want to go 
you know, too heavy with the yellow. Boy, I mean, it, it's really, um, I look at structures a lot with the sun hitting them. It's amazing what the sunlight does. Sometimes it turns the surface just orange almost. So that's a warm white, okay? And then we want shadow color, which is still this surface, you know, obviously. So let's take some of all three primaries. We got a green. And I could use either red probably, but we'll try. And maybe we'll go into a little crimson. Got to be careful with crimson, it is really powerful. Because generally shadows end to be, tend to be cooler. You'll notice if you... I'm just trying to get a neutral kind of color. Okay, now let's start mixing some white into that. You know, this will be the shadow for the building. And we don't want to go too dark. This is still a white building. You know, there it is compared to that. Quite a bit darker. Might be dark enough. So that'll give us something to start with. Let me bring you back. a little off to the side. I hope that's okay for you so I can see. I bought a new brush and I've tried it a little bit. I was, I've been enjoying the softer brushes and this one's angled which is kind of fun. We may try it and see. I tried to use it the other day and it was kind of aggravating me. I'm going to start with a flat though. It's it's a soft brush too. All right, we'll thin this down with a little of our solvent-free, gambling solvent-free liquid, and we'll put in the shadows where we see them. You know, and I don't mind if some of the orange comes through. brush was a little big for what we're doing. And then like I said, which we may have to come back and add them later, there's even uh, shadows down here under these planter boxes. There's probably a little bit under our sign too. And then the the building on the side is in shadow too, but I lightened it up just a little. All right, we'll clean this brush. And we're going to go into this nice creamy yellow white mixture. I just really enjoy buildings when the sunlight's hitting them. Yeah, when she first talked to me about this event here in town, you know, she mentioned to me about 
including other professional artists that I know, but again, they're not going to do it, you know, if they don't live here and they don't have the opportunity to sell them, there's no awards, you know, they're just not going to. Again, I'm doing it because this is my town. Let's make sure I feel like I'm going down far enough. I gave my neighbor the dog painting that I did of her dog. She really loved it. I went ahead and gave it to her while it was wet. I just, I didn't want to wait, you know. Those are those planter boxes. We may have to do some adjustments there. I'm not sure I have everything just right. your drawing in, you know, it's kind of like, you know, placing puzzle pieces. This goes back toward the door here. There's a, another actually dark window there that we'll have to put in. So the roof is we could probably go into our shadow mixture and darken it a little bit. I'll put a little blue in it, maybe a little of my um, transparent red oxide, the mixture that I would normally use to make my very dark darks. You would think if it did sell, the people that would buy it would be the people that own the shop, and it could be, you know. Like I said, it's just, this time it's just their shop. When I did it the other time, it was uh, this building and the next two down, and I didn't talk to the owner, but I did show it to a girl that worked there, assuming she showed it to them, and they didn't buy it, so, you know. But again, this is just their building, so. Maybe they'll be more interested in that. Getting a little bit darker up under the very, very edge. going here, this roof line here kind of comes anyway, I think it's the cutest building I uh, had so many to choose from stopped on the way home today and shot some more photos of it and maybe should have I'm trying to see I got a telephone pole and the actual photo running right across it so be a little too early to be doing some of this edge work. To, we have to get the sky in so we may have to come back.
bought um, two palette knives a while back. This is what I love, is the small one with the pointy tip. And one of them, actually, I've never had that happen with a palette knife. It, um, let's see, is it laying here? I took it out of my bag because it, like, chipped. Here, I'll show you what it did. Can you see that? I've never had that happen. So when I tried to use it, it was, you know, kind of, I don't say cutting into the canvas, but making a mark that I didn't want. Yeah, usually they were so tough. Bought it at an art store. All right, the sign is higher than the little basket thing. And it's square. I'm sure we'll be doing some adjusting. Like I said, there's... I may have to work on that. Matter of fact, let's just go over that for now. Those are supposed to be like shadows eventually. But we're just going to paint over it for now. Should have scraped it off. Scrape yours off. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. Don't do what I do. Right? That way you're not muddying up your color. big window panes on each side. And then again there's a uh, little square guy here. And this is in the door. And then there's a couple window panes there. take some cobalt and white and uh, put that in the windows upstairs. We'll see how. thought about painting this house at night. Um, there are some houses, there's one up in town that kind of similar to this that uh, has some nice light on it at night. So I'd love to do a nocturne of it sometime. Okay, I can see here, you're probably seeing it too. See if this is the center, that's where our peak should be, not where I have it. So we'll get it. You've probably been yelling at me, right? shutters um, on each side, but let's work our way out to there.
my channel's not grown like some of them, and some of them that have done well are plein air, and I sometimes think people like that a lot better, perhaps. live in an area where I can just go out all the time. Some of the people's channels, I think they're in like California. And These are transparent colors that I use, and sometimes that's good. I think it, uh, rather than like a solid color. I see little dots of color in there, and there's two uh, like globe lights that I see through there. So the door is a little tiny compared to, let me look at that again. I'm holding my arm straight out and measuring the upper window compared to the door window. And actually it's pretty close, so yeah, see this is feeling a little short to me. Doesn't that be perfect, but let's clean up. 
some of this. I don't want to leave that much of the orange showing. And above the window. addresses on here and uh, so you know we may do some real precise finish work maybe you know I said these are kind of hanging baskets Go ahead and keep blocking in the rest of it before we keep picking at the house, I think. So we'll mix up a um, ultramarine and Indian yellow, a dark green, and we'll block in those trees that we see in the background. and uh, the picture doesn't go clear off but I don't know when this photo was taken and uh, I almost feel like the tree broke off we've got some pines that have done that so I'm going to take it off You know, and I can even go set up on location if I feel like I need to tweak some things, if I feel like I've missed something or... And the building to the left there is um, a red brick, but I think what we're going to do is uh, we'll take some red and yellow and make an orange, and then um, we're going to kill it with the complement, which is blue because I don't want it too screaming red over there, you know what I mean? And it would be catching light too, but I want it kind of grayed down. I want you looking here, you know. Let's go over that for now.
hear this, like I said, goes back into the door. Not sure what's on the left side. It's probably actually another window, but you can't see it from this angle. I'm going to darken this a little bit because that's up in the shattered area and would not be that bright. goes up and across and this would come back out. This looks like it needs to come down a little bit, doesn't it? see how far we get tonight. I don't feel as I have to have it done. I mean, again, I just wanted lots of drying time because I don't know how they'll treat it. I will probably put it in a plastic bag when I deliver it. And uh, But again, they're going to have a lot of kids art and, uh, you know, I'm not complaining. They'll do what they want with it. You might think it devalues your art to do this, I don't know. But again, it's my town and I want to get back, so. looking pretty precise and pretty good. Oh, there's also a little um, actually the chimney runs off but I don't care. And these are kind of curved windows down here, and this one actually is like bricked up. But I think it would be better if it was there, so. So let's get some color on the sky. I haven't made a decision on this chimney yet. You know, it's almost tucked behind the building. like right here on the very edge. I'm tempted to, you know, go look at it before I put it in. Normally I do cobalt blue for the sky. I'm going to try ultramarine this time. Just feel like I would like it to be a bit more intense, no reason. And usually I start darker at the top and I warm it up as it comes down. Yeah, you don't want to do everything the same all the time, do you? It gets boring. If 
you recall, one night I did a painting kind of using Kali Weissen as someone I really love his work. I follow him on Instagram, and he, um, he a lot of times does these very dark blue skies, but he actually his scenes look very sunlit. So I tried that, if you recall, on one of our shows on here I did, and uh, you know, you wouldn't think that would work, but it really does. You know, try things. If they don't work, they don't work. Right? We just do them over. So I think I will warm it up a little with some yellow. I can maybe go a little lighter. Some people do very yellow skies. I'm sure you've seen that too. And that can work. That can be very effective. that in the end I may want it to be more blue I don't know how do we feel about that I'm going to blow it back up a little bit Sky holes in there. Again, I really can't see as much as I would like in this photo because there's a telephone pole right here. tree pretty cool because it's uh, I want to push it back but it looks pretty dark at the base there Just going over this uh, very dark green with directly with yellow, and it intermixes into it. Now we can take our sword brush, which is this weird thing I've showed you before. It's a um, Rosemary and Company, but it's a weird brush that kind of splays apart. It's really pretty good for um, tree trunks and tree limbs and because you can't control it. Now 
with the pine, you know, we're going to have a And you could use it for grasses, or you could use it probably for this pine tree. You're not going to obviously see all the tree trunk. It's going to be hidden by foliage. watching a video earlier of James Gurney, which he's so good on YouTube, and uh, he was doing buildings, and uh, he was doing windows, and he just made a mark for the top and bottom, because he said usually the top and bottom is lighter, and then he just ran a line between those. It seemed to work pretty well. important. Trying to put a little de detail on them without it getting too light, you know. side if we're happy with that. Trying to see the foundation of that building. It looks, it actually looks brick too, but it's a little darker underneath. Let me check the angle of that. Pretty much straight out. And again, it looks kind of orangey. You know, and I wouldn't have to include this building at all. And I may find I don't want it there in the end, I don't know. It is there though in reality, so. I couldn't really crop it out because it runs behind this building. I'll think about it. Everything is subject to change, right? I'm looking at this and uh, looking at the amount of space I see under the windows to the porch.
flowers to stand out, so I'm going red. Let's see if I can blow this up, this little window box thing. Feels like a shadow. an open sign in the window. Got a little cabaret light in there. Surrounded by a little blue. There's lots of detail that I'm probably not going to bore you with and make you watch all that, right? Um, I just see little dots of color. There's a little sign naming here that says open. There's a house number here. Um, I said there's two ball lights that hang in the windows that are very bright, so they'll be yellow. So we'll get those in. So what we will do, because we've been at this an hour, is I think we'll just go ahead and get some color down here before we call it quits. And that's the parking lot in this case. So um, the gray, you know, we'll try our three primaries and we'll light them up. Too dark. start at a restaurant of the painting of the restaurant in town. I've been there twice so far for our show next year. I want to vary the color some, so back into blue. And even this little curve here on the on the little porch thing there's stripes of color that come down there. So I get lots of little detail that will be fun, you know, that I'll put in. I'll show you the picture one more time before we quit though. The parking lot runs all the way over here. You know, and again, I may go up and work on it on location and I may decide that I even want to, um, who knows, put some of the telephone pole in or some of the wires or, you know, I'll decide. It's a grassy area over to the side. All right, so the canvas is covered. I'm having fun. Um, I 
feel like I almost have to have that building there because it's there. And I got it up to, yeah, about, that's about where it hits, so. But I, I got some of my orange peeking through, which I think is nice. And then I'll show you the image one more time before we leave. I'll show you the windows and stuff. There's just lots and dots of color. See the two globe lights? So I'll put little bits of color, and then there's a welcome open close sign right there, a little couch on the porch, and there's a number. There's those planter boxes. Um, I'll show you the last photo. See here, there's flowers and shadows, and uh, different, obviously this was, this has no light on it, no sunlight, but our image. And I've got that sign there that I've got to try to, so the detail will be fun, a little vent up in the peak, lots of things. All right, I'll get you out in front of it and show it to you before we, before we sign off. And uh, there it is, just a clean, sunlit little building. And uh, I'm sure it's not done. I'm, I feel like maybe those trees need to go together. This is the first thing that catches my eye. And also, you know, I got warmer here on the sky and more blue here. I may bring that over into there too. So, and again, uh, maybe parking spots would be fun. And oh, did you see the front of that step even? Let me show you that. There's color that runs down. See the step how it's made? So I could just pick and pick and pick. I'll show it to you when I think I have it done, but I feel good. I got a good start on it. All right, thank you for joining me. I hope you got something out of that and enjoyed it too. All right, like and subscribe and watch for me next time. Bye-bye.